What's up guys, welcome to another product feedback video. If you guys aren't aware, the actual Samsung Galaxy S4 comes in two different CPU choices. In the US and Australia will be fitted with the Snapdragon 600 by Qualcomm at 1.9 GHz. And in the rest of the world, will be, they'll actually use an Exynos 5 8 core processor. It's uh, octa-core as they call it. It's part of something called heterogeneous computing where there's actually a 1.6 gigahertz quad-core CPU and then also slightly smaller 1.2 gigahertz quad-core processor making up the 8-core and they switch depending upon what tasks are happening. The main reason we didn't get the octa-core was because the octa-core only supports the 3G network while the quad-core actually supports the 4G network. So is there actually any big difference between the two CPUs? Well, we'll be running some benchmarks on the two handsets and go from there. The first test that we'll be running is 3D Mark, and it's an interesting one that we chose to run this because first off, the quad core actually receives a higher score of 11,474 in comparison to the 9,590 on the octa core. And that also goes for the extreme test where the quad core got 6,839 and the octa core received 5,934. So the octa core is actually slightly slower when it comes to GPU performance. Another benchmarking program that we use is N22, which gives us a rough guide on the performance of the entire CPU. The quad core received a score of 24,188 while the octa core received a score of 28,375, so much higher. On the other test that we ran was Geekbench 2 and the quad core also received 3,233 while the octa core received a higher score of 3,498. In our final test we ran a benchmarking app called Quadrant and this gives us an overall score of 12,378 for the quad core Samsung phone and then for the octa core we received a score of 12,620. So what does all this mean? Well, it means that the Qualcomm quad-core CPU actually does slightly better when it comes to graphical performance with a improvement of about 10%. Where in terms of raw CPU performance, the Exynos 5 octa-core performs about 5 to 10% faster than the Qualcomm quad-core version. Whether or not you'll notice that difference in day-to-day -day task is not really something that I would say you would but it's just good to run these benchmarks to satisfy our curiosity and just to see if we were really missing out on that much. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out my unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S4 and make sure to subscribe. Muhammad out and peace be with you.